Hey everybody, welcome back to Dog Place XCOM 2. Let's do the Arkham King autopsy here. I have always been particularly fascinated with this species ever since the first time I spotted one during my travels. Although I had seen the biomechanical horrors deployed by the aliens during the initial invasion, these creatures appear to be something as entirely possessing a certain flair not typically found amongst the aliens, I found this creature to be of great intelligence, masked by the incredible hold of the elders. That's what a little human DNA can do for you. You will eventually see what all these aliens look like before when I'm doing the uh, the first X XCOM. Oh, look at this. I like this kind of trophy room. You can see how many we killed of each. This is really cool here. The robotic units. I want to upgrade Javier Romero here. Spain. By upgrade, I mean promote the soldier. Hidden ability uncovered. Okay. He just gets one in the first rank. Rupture. Oh, it's the one that um, deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes an additional plus three damage from all attacks in the future. It's the one uh, Wild Child just got before. Phantom or Blade Master? Let's take Blade Master. Shadow Step or Shadow Strike? Take Shadow Step here. Conceal a running gun. Let's take a running gun. So you can run and then use a rupture shot. Blackable or Blade Storm. Blade Storm is, I think, better. Untouchable. Then there's one rank missing for him here. That's quite good. Let's customize him a little bit. Give him a face prop. Let's see, his name is Monster. Do we have anything fitting for that? Oh, we should go for helmet and hat here. Let's see android, aviators. Do you have anything monster like? Kaiser helmet? Oh, that's that's not bad. Let's make him like this. And... Um, armor pattern, none. Main armor color. We don't have a yellow guy yet. Let's <laughs> make him a pink demon. Like, all of our rangers are just like hellish creatures. One skeleton, then Viriatus is just like a straight up demon. Then this guy now. Let's make him like this. What do you think? It's like a golden demon now. I like it actually. I really like the sleek armor. As Green said before, she said, Oh, my armor is so sleek. Yep. Secondary armor color. I think that was alright already here. This was... I was 8 years old. This was an action figure. Oh, totally buy that one. Or beg my parents to buy that one. <laughs> um, looks good. Weapon upgrade wise. Superior autoloader seems good. Superior laser sight. Give you a laser sight here. On stock, air trigger. Air trigger could be good. Let's give it a hair trigger. Just got an achievement called Excalibur. Personal combat sim. Plus free mobility for you as well. As rangers do. Do we have a scope for a two-tap sniper rifle? No, we don't. Okay. 
And Solo, do you have a fully upgraded weapon? You have a laser sight. Can give you an autoloader or an advanced dock. Do you shoot a lot? Not really, right? Let's give you the stock. Okay. Oh, and Sean Thompson, you also have a normal weapon. Totally forgot about this. Advanced stock, laser sight. Hmm. Keep that one off for now. Okay, we need supplies and badly. Oh, what's happening here? I command your troops for yep, that's right. When you're killing that codex, it also reduces by one point here. The aliens will be left scrambling to recover from this setback. There's Avenger power. Okay, that's interesting. I like these permanent upgrades. Avenger power. Let's get the power. Avenger plotting new course. It's not really necessary, but I, mean, I don't want to pass it up either, you know. Okay, Solace is done for Sean. Oh, I, I love Soulfire. Soulfire does guaranteed psionic damage to an organic enemy, ignores cover and armor. Only works on organics, but it's really good. And I think later there's an upgrade for debilitating effects of soul fire, like making him go insane or something like that. I am sure you will find okay, here's the Arcan King op autopsy then. Icarus armor is available in the Proving Ground. Now the Icarus armor, what does it need? One Illyrian core, hmm, and 75 supplies. We need cores, we need supplies. The soul fire is learned. Soul steel, soul fire transfers half of the damage done back to the Psy operative's health. That can be interesting. Ideally, he doesn't get damaged anyway, but when we really need the HP, it's even better. Uh oh. The youth always hunting us again. Okay, here we go. Permanent plus free power, that's nice. Let's make some more contact with West Africa. For a second I just looked at OBS and was like, did I press recording? I totally did. Just a supply drop. It's a minor breakthrough. What's this? Rural checkpoints. Oh, this decreases the supplies of the next supply drop. That's interesting. Um, Just get this one done first. We already know that cutscene is a little bit loud. And now we can actually make contact with South America. All armor and vest proving on projects are complete instantly. A little bit late. It's still interesting. Um, please let us get some supplies. Still need the Illyrium core. Yeah, yeah, here come the supplies. Stall steel is done. Inspire, that one is so good. It grants a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. Just imagine Viriatus shooting twice or something like that. That's how good this is. Okay, supplies are done. Let's fly to the black market actually. See whether they have anything for us. Do you have Illyrium cores? I don't think so. I actually have supplies we could buy with Intel. Um, let's go into the Avenger. It's idle stuff and improving ground. Let's 
build a shadow chamber. Shadow chamber construction initiated. Current Wagner getting in there. Seven days. Okay, to engineering. Weapon wise. Plasma rifle. Advanced Psy Amp. Yes. Okay. Still need more supplies there. Just to make sure we actually have enough supplies to get that Icarus armor as soon as possible. Let me buy them at the black market here. It's 35 intel, I think that's worth it. And let's gain some more intel here. Try getting our shadow chamber done. Maybe there's something coming up we can intercept, like a supply raid. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Literally like one second after I said it. Maybe not even. Okay. Whom are we going to take on that one? There's no alien ruler anymore. So we don't have to bring the heaviest guys. Um, let's bring Sean Thompson here. And Carrie, I think. Maybe Cook Cook too. It's an interesting squad now. Let's make some things available here. Actually... Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that every time we don't take the Riatus, we have to take away the Fusion X. <laughs> So we can give it to somebody else. The talent rounds on you is still nice. And what are you going to get? Maybe I'll give you the med kit. Plasma grenade, is this necessary? Maybe not. Maybe I'll also give you the blue screen rounds. Talon rounds also interesting. And you should have frost bombs. Race rounds okay for you. AP on you. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting squad, I think. Let's try to get those supplies. could also have uh, taken away the suit from Viriatus, but it's like, gone, we don't have to min-max everything right now, I think. Let me just get up and get some water here, while the screen is loading anyway. And I'm back, just in time. Man, our squad is so good. Next time I'm playing X Contour, I should really play on a higher difficulty, maybe. The beginning is always the crucial thing. Like, either you get rolling or you get steamrolled. Roll or be rolled. Okay, I think we can already see something here. 
Yep. A lot of Edwin guys and one turret up there. Not too bad. I like that Edwin training. I like all the Edwin designs. Like the designers of XCOM 2 are so good, I think. Like all of the... I don't know what that sound is. I think somebody's renovating again. That's annoying. Um, all of the all of the designs are so good and sleek and like really believable and not like totally impractical. I hope you cannot hear them drilling up there, it's a little bit weird. Jackal's back here solo. And move in. Or Better yet, you should move in. Stepping off. Blue tap should also get close. Double time. <laughs> Jackal, uh, this is full cover, huh? That Over seems there. nice. Arnie, you're just going into Overwatch. Root in Overwatch. Cook, cook. Also, a little closer, please. Good to go. Here we go. Yeah, I hope you didn't hear the drilling. I don't know what that was. And one Archon here. Or Archon. I always say Archon. They're actually moving away. Yeah, no need to panic, Vasily. I got you. Jackal. Could... Maybe put a kill zone here. I mean, the turret is not going to move. But when I do this, everyone is going to run out of here, I think. A shield barrel would be super annoying. Let's try that. Look at that. He just straight up took him out. I thought maybe like with hollow targeting and then a kill zone. We're in their okay, kill zone popping. Here we go. It's annoying dodges. Hunter ability. Nice shot. Killzone again. Is he running into the train? Can't escape from me. They've seen me. <laughs> yeah, gotta be kidding me, man. A spotted carry like this. You got Netherlands, Insanity, Soul Fires, all things you can consider here. Okay, also I have to remember there's no possibility of alien rulers, so we can just use what we want. You can start firing a pistol. 72, 45. Start with this one. Okay, he is gone. Hostile terminated. Nice Turn one. Located. And excuse me while I'm going back to the shadows. Turn Just terminated. not going to spend any resources on that guy. <laughs> um, you got blue screen rounds as well, right? You could totally shred this thing. We get a little bit closer. Is it better for you? Proceeding to target. Ninety percent. That's not bad. E boop. Okay, shredded. Five damage. Limited ammo remaining. 
Uh, solo. Let's move you here for now. Okay, that was an Illyrium core. Now I want to move in and spot some people here. Because Killzone is selective. <laughs> Okay, sadly a dodge there. Oh, Hunter is popping off again. Damn, I, that, that sound is so good, I love that gun. You also got an Axe you throw, right? 49% is not ideal. Whatever. Still hit him. Oh, that annoying drilling again. Um, okay, still got the turret up there. Could also slash the guy for 89. Slash the turret? That doesn't seem like a wise idea. Let's try it like that. Okay. That was not a problem anymore. Now we can. So let's... Oh, I thought we still had, we had Inspire, but I think we don't even have that one yet. Insanity, Netherlands. How far does Netherlands go? Oh, it goes pretty far, huh? 7 to 12, the, the move is so good. I don't think we can move somewhere where we would hit both of them. I think the officer is more of a problem. So if you could move into full cover first. Now well, let's just use the null lens from here, taking no chances. No armor will shield you. Look at this. Boom. He's gone. <laughs> Psyop just are really fun to use. Oh, look at this. More friends. Forces in range. Little mech there. Going directly into Overwatch. That guy's going way around. I'm not too worried about the turret. I think it can fire twice because it can't move. <laughs> can we intimidate the turret? I don't think that's possible. Yeah, okay. Basically, still yelling about the to totally stationary fire there. Who tap is concealed. Okay. I don't need a little reload. Rapid reload in progress. Also reload here. 68, 43. Solo, do you have shadow step? Shadow strike. Okay, you have Shadow Strike. That's the thing. You have to remove that Overwatch from the robot. Are we just going to remove it like this? Oh, we can only see the Lancer there. Okay. Okay, then I guess we can take care of the turret from here, or launch a plasma grenade back there. It's a little bit in the shadows there, I don't like the one. Let's move to here, maybe we can see a little bit more clearly then. 
Oh yeah, there's another turret up there. Usually there are two of them. But this guy's right there. I think he's here next to the tree. So we could bombard. And we're like here. Just in case. Up. Yep, yeah, that hit something. Or oh, watch removed. Now the turret is like, wait. Who cook with 86 on that thing? Super heavy turret. Bad miss. Grid can only see this thing from here. Can move a little bit closer. Sixty-three. It's also an opportunity to solve fire. Solo, could you slash someone? You can slash the turret. Ah. Also slash this guy way back there. Elite shield bearer. Or this guy. But then we should really have turret out of the way. And by turret I mean this big fat robot here. Let's do a little shot. Okay. I think that's the highest uh, probability we got there. A little two on that guy. You can only see the two turrets from here, that's not good. Then I'm going to move you right here. Just rotate this thing a little bit. Okay, the supplies are in there. I can actually move in here. Understood. Moving out. 65 on that guy. Or we can conceal because he can't see us anymore. What is more valuable? Let's take this one. Got him. Because he can potentially stun us or disorient us or something like that. Don't really want it. Probably goes without saying. Now I'm wondering, the shield bearer's shield, does it affect the turrets too? Oh yep, yeah, he's shooting some missiles at Arnie there. What was that? It felt like something is blowing up. Oh wow, he's shooting at... Oh, Psy operative. He, oh yeah, they, they blew up his cover, huh? That's gnarly, man. Now the robot doesn't have Overwatch or anything anymore. Okay, the shield bearer. Oh, that was the kind of explosion sound. The shield bearer is out of sight, but he still gave his little shield to the mech. By Mac, I mean the turret this time. <laughs> yep. There go the AP rounds, that just straight through the armor. Great, in a little bit of a weird situation. Arnie just walk in.
Now where's the shield bearer? It says right here, so maybe he's somewhere there. Also says right here, or maybe it's just because of the turrets. Trying to read the UI there. So now there's two health left. We'll take this one then. Five shielded. Three armor. You should use a nano med kit on yourself. As sad as that is. 89 on this guy, 82 here. So 100% shot. Don't see why not. I like the little boop it does when it's hit. <laughs> um. Super heavy turret over there. Take that shot. It's gone. X-ray neutralized. Promotion earned from shooting a turret. Never seen that one before. Or did she just shoot it with a sniper rifle and then get a bonus action chance or something? I think she did, right? Like, I totally didn't pay attention there. Okay, solo. Yep, he's right there. Now he's flanked. Nice 92 shot here. Give him a little hello. I shield, free armor, crit. Deflection. Look at that. Not bad. They're trying to pull back. Okay, there must be another group back there, so didn't get too reckless yet. At the same time. I'm really intrigued. Okay, you can't see him from here. It's also something that can explode over there. Just take that shot. Miss, but we got that stock. I think. Okay, that was good. But there is another pot there. It, maybe you can catch up with her on that side. Good to go. Arnie, have your walls over here. Approach. Now, Jackal, on which side are they going to be? Can I grapple up there? That would be interesting. I can grapple here. Oh, I can also grapple here. Okay. Grapple out. Could give us some interesting shots is what I'm thinking. These guys are sadly not cover. Still have a free reload. Just take a pistol overwatch here for now. Going a little bit cautious. Heading out. Also an overwatch on you. Rook has to reload. Let's do that then. I'm ready. And then just run Hang you up. here. Let's see whether they will come for us or we have to come to them. We have to come to them, I guess. Okay, I would like carry here. Let's go into concealment. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Yep. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings. Okay. 
So now we can see these guys. I'm going to get into position here. Cannot see the, tec the detection radius, sadly. Um, let's go here. I'll land Celeste two turns. Quite a ways away. Need to ask twice. On your order. This is going to be a little bit scary here. Sure thing. On Overwatch. I think Arnie, you just go into Overwatch straight up. First reload, please. Blue tap pistol watch. Solo just in case. I have you reload actually. Back in. Okay, we cannot see that thing there yet. Okay, now we can see this thing is um does it say the name it's a gatekeeper it's a psionic and mechanical unit as well it's really interesting it has high defense so we want to approach On the move. caution here oh, i like that atmosphere it's like a this part, oh, it's like a diner or something. First, I thought it was a school, and I was like, no, it's a hotel, no, it's a diner. <laughs> hey. Affirmative. This also doesn't pop it yet. Kill zone is available, that's nice. Is it clear? Okay. Here we go. Now it's time to act. This thing is close to the supplies. That's not good. <laughs> it's all is still concealed. We should try getting rid of the armor first. Where's the explosive? Right there. Get this thing here. Might have to take this thing out. On the overdrive. Where's Vasily actually? Yeah, okay. Um, what I would like you to do is shoot this thing. And ideally we hit it. If not, we get the holo targeting anyway. Okay, that's a nice hit. hit the armor. Air trigger, free action. You are the man! <laughs> Here you go. Frost bomb, that could be nice. Will it destroy the supplies? I have no idea. Catch. But this thing is scary as hell. Like, it doesn't look like much, it's just like... Some kind of weird Pokeball alien. But it can like... It's really strong and can like use, use psionic rifts and things like this. You don't want to get on its bad side is what I'm saying. Good, you have soul fire. Sanity. It's a 100% chance on those guys apparently. I make one of them go insane. It should be this guy, I think. Let's try this. Look at that. Okay, he's panicked. Can you shoot your comrade? That would be nice. 
Um, I mean, hello. <laughs> okay, too bad. I think he was shooting at the gatekeeper. I would have liked to shoot at the other mutant there. Solo. This shouldn't be a problem, right? Okay, he's gone. Enemies down. Arnie, 69 on this thing. Your cannon shreds armor. Okay, free shredded, free damage. Metal armor penetration. Quite good. From Jackal. We have the advantage that his shots sort of go through armor. He has 119. Or that I with 90. That would be nice. He just took it out like it's no problem. Never fear. Yeah, that supply crates at the loudest goodbye of human history. But at the same time, like, can't ask for a better thing than that. I'm gonna just kill this thing with a rocket launcher. It's weird that it doesn't say that it's getting hit here. Oh, because you can't shoot through here. Let's do it like this. Okay. Sad miss. Imminent reload required. Can have an Overwatch. Don't think we can get into cover so we can see this thing. Nope. Okay, he shouldn't be able to do anything because he's panicked. That's how I like it. Maybe Carrie can also take care of that guy. <laughs> Shoot him in the neck, man. Here we go. Taken care of. Status confirmed. All Still twitching a little bit. The area is Status confirmed. Good one. Got some wounds from playing a little bit shabby there. Otherwise, was a fine mission, I think. And these episodes are getting pretty long now. I thought all oh, this mission was pretty quick. Looking at the minutes, 43 minutes. Hmm. Major Carry Armstrong doing a lot of work. Mystic Sean Drew Thompson getting shot at a lot. <laughs> he survived, it's fine. Good mission for him. Or a good first mission for him, apart from almost being killed. Nice soul fire there. Panic. Good usage. That gatekeeper. Not a problem with Jackal on our side. Good thing I gave him the AP rounds. I think I ne I've never done this before. I'm often using either Venom rounds, which is poison, or Dragon rounds, which is the fire ammunition on Gunslingers and Sharpshooters in general. Appearance quite nice. You don't get rid of the armor, you just shoot through. Okay, any promotions? Oh yeah, two tap. Hidden ability uncovered. Also rupture. <laughs> you get a rupture, you get a rupture, everyone gets a rupture. You get three different unit types of rupture now. Steady hands or aim. Steady hands, if you did not move last turn, gain plus 10 aim and plus 10 critical chance. And aim is hunger down, now confers plus 20 aim to the first shot of the following turn. 
I think I still prefer steady hands. Because I'm rarely ever am I hunkering down. Especially with her, she's shooting non-stop. Illyrium core? Nice. Gatekeeper autopsy is available. For now guys, thank you very much for watching. This is nice supply rate. Pretty stoked about that one. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next time and goodbye.